Welcome to American Patriot News. I'm Romeo. So tonight I have a story for you about Tucker Carlson's lawyer, Harmeet Dillon. Let's uh, let's take a look here. This is really actually interesting. Tucker Carlson lawyer Harmeet Dillon stops appearing on Fox News, urges Republican lawmakers to do the same. Good for her. Miss Dillon used to be a regular guest on multiple Fox News shows, but no more. She is representing Tucker Carlson and will no longer appear on the network. She is now urging Republicans in Congress to stop appearing on Fox News as well. The situation is going to get far worse before it gets better. Tucker Carlson's lawyer, Harmeet Dillon, has ended her appearances on Fox News and is urging Republican lawmakers to do the same. The move comes after Fox sent a cease and desist letter to Carlson after his second episode of Tucker on Twitter. Carl Carlson took his show to the social media platform after being taken off the air by Fox earlier this year. Dillon tweeted Monday, for all the friends who have been asking, why don't we see you on Fox News anymore? This is why. I am passionately committed to free speech and to a free flow of information necessary for a free society. Until Fox stops trying to silence Tucker, it's not a place for me. And I feel for my friends working at the network, which has clearly caved into pressure from some quarter to silence at Tucker Carlson. What you are seeing on Fox today is a censored version of the news. Keep that in mind as you make your viewing and commenting choices. There's her, uh, her tweet there. I think that's the, that's the end of the article. It wasn't a very long article, but look, the point is very well taken. Um, Fox isn't news. They are just like NBC, MSNBC and CNN are now. They are choice selections of news that they feel like covering. And then they're a narrative of that news. They're not the actual news like I'm giving you here where I'm not ad-libbing. I'm just giving you the content. They're, they're giving you a narrative that they want you to go along with. And I don't care if you're a Democrat or a Republican, that should be absolutely unacceptable. Uh, Fox News, they, they did this to themselves. This is a self-inflicted wound and I don't even feel bad for them. They took their number one guy who was bringing in more money than everyone else combined and they, they fired him, agreed to pay him $20 million a year, and then sidelined him. I'm sorry, that don't work. That's, uh, that's not a good business decision. And if you're like me, you've already stopped watching Fox News. I, I stopped back in 2020. Anyway, Matt and I will continue to bring you the news, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your evening.